Hello there. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good, how are you? Good evening. I'm doing all right. <clears throat> are you happy that we're we're done? We finished? You're gonna get your to be honest. Okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy you're done. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's another achievement. One yeah. more to the list. Yeah, that's great. All right. Um let's get working. Have you finished the platform by any chance? Yes. Yes. Mm -mm. Paul, have you finished it? Did you take the final exam? Fatima and Jacqueline, you too? No, almost. <laughs> almost. All right. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're <laughs> yes, going to do it I tomorrow. Did. did you have problems? Any questions in between? No. Okay. No. No. I'm going to do it anyway because <laughs> this class, you know, it's recorded. So some people might need the answers. So we have to go over it anyway. And later, you know, we're going to chat, work on our pronunciation and fluency, okay? So, okay. number one, let me see. This is not yours, is it? Yeah, it is. Let's go to the final exam and help me out. There it is. It's not so long. Okay. Letter A. Um, Fatima. If you walk to work, you may have to pay for the bus. Hmm. Do you guys agree? One have to. No. One have to. Oh, yeah, pay you for won't. The bus. Sorry. You won't, you won't have to. Have to pay for the bus. Very good. Hey, but the bus fare in El Salvador is not expensive. You're not saving much money anyway. Right? <laughs> it's not expensive. <laughs> Two, Alexander. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Okay. Three. Carla. Paul. <laughs> you always tell her to be the one. I don't know why. What is, what is it with you against if you, if you, if you do good, Mario, <laughs> you my day will have less free time you will have less time who is married in this group me ah yeah fatima you are okay is that true is it um, less yeah it's true okay. be honest Fatima, this is a safe yeah. place. <laughs> this is a safe place. <laughs> you sound such, so like a psychologist, Alexandra. This is a safe place. Yeah. You I know. It's a therapy group. Uh -huh, I know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's true. Four is Jacqueline. Fiona carefully plans her day to she's never late to appointments. She likes to be punctual. Mm -hmm. Punctual, very good. Five, Carla. Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous. Okay, by the way, guys, mm, pronunciation of this. How do you pronounce it? Say. Yeah. Say. How do you pronounce this? Say. Say. Mm, nope. Like this. Say. Pass. Yep. And how do you pronounce okay. it? Pass. Say. 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 Yes, yeah, so only this one is A, the rest is says, she says, he says, okay. Paul says, right? It's says. the first time that I heard that. Because 
in the past I, I heard says and said. Really? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. This is a right pronunciation. Maybe you didn't hear that. Maybe you thought you heard that. <laughs> because you Maybe, see that. Maybe, yeah. Uh, you see that and you anticipate a sound with your, you know, right? You know about that. You can anticipate a sound and then make it match to what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. so I think that's what happened because I'm a hundred percent sure this is the right pronunciation. That's instead. Okay, number six. Paul. Okay. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they are moody and bad tempered. Bad tempered. Do you remember the meaning of moody? Yes, no. like a bipolar person. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. At a lower level of bipolar, right? More changing. Very good. Are you working with me? Yeah. If you haven't finished? Yes. All right. Letter B. Let's do this listening. But first, you know, we have to read the questions. So, one, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. She's speaking. Give me a second. Yes, give me a second. I hear the first with Sylvia is no, we're just gonna read the question. So say Sylvia and number two, according to Harry. Uh, Sylvia is happy with her laptop. No, we're just gonna read the statements, guys, not the answers yet. Ah. Okay. 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 Instruction. Listen. According to Harry, if Marsha stays in her apartment, all right, I will read it, guys. Jim's dad, because they're short anyway, and Mac. So pay attention to each one of them and see what they talk about. All right, let's listen up. If you have already done this exercise and finished, pay attention to the vocabulary so that you can learn something new anyway, okay? All right. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia. Can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days? No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving you'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? 
Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Alrighty. Number one, Fatima. Fatima Alexandra. <laughs> I have a Fatima okay. in another group and you remind me of her. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sylvia. Espinoso, sorry. No, it's another Fatima. <laughs> Alexandra. <laughs> it's my turn. No, I like which oh, one? Who? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Me or Fatima? Fatima. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sylvia is happy with her laptop. Okay. Alexandra. Sorry. <laughs> okay. According to Harry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, she will but no, she will have no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. She will have more time to save for a house. Sorry. Yep, very good. Carla? Uh, Jim's dad uh, likes the idea of Jean becoming a flight attendant. Likes the idea of Jim. Okay. Jacqueline? Mac wants to get a job at National Park. Uh, National Park. Um, as far as I remember, these are the right answers. Yes. Very good. Great job. Hi, Roberto and Eunice. You just joined us. All right. Letter D. Good night. Hi, good evening. Roberto, go ahead. Fiona, Fiona caref carefully plans her days, so she's never late for appointments. She yeah. likes to be... Punctual. Uh -huh, that's punctual. And this is care carefully. Carefully, like that. Okay, Carefully. two. Let me see. No, no, no. Uh, Paul, Paul, you have a participating. Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, generous. Right. He never, what did you say? Says. Yes, there you go. All right, Carla. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're uh, bad tempered. Yeah, very good. I noticed that you didn't say a smile. That's good. Never smile, right? That's good. And this should be get angry. Get angry is okay, but if you want to connect it, get angry, okay? Okay. Yeah, you guys are not making this mistake anymore. <clears throat> and I know, I know that in the videos, you can hear, right, a smile, a speak in some of the videos, but that's not the right, it, that's an accent, that's Spanish accent. So don't pay attention to that. Okay. Mm, let me see. 
Have we finished? Not yet. Right, matching. <laughs> Number one. Alexandra. Okay. I would like to work as an sorry, as an English teacher because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn. Okay. Eunice. Okay, I will want to be a flight attendant um, because I don't like I don't like to travel or work with people. Okay, uh, if you connect this and you change the sound, how does it sound when you connect it? Flight. Mm -hmm. No, that's the right pronunciation, flight attendant. But if you connect it, naturally, what do we say? Flight attendant. Say it again, Paul. Flight attendant. Ah, uh -huh, flighta, right? Are you saying flighta or flighta? Yeah. yeah, it sounds like flighta. Okay, flight attendant. Flight. Very good. Uh, it's not that it's wrong to say flight attendant. You just sound British. That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's a different. Fatima. I will make a good waiter because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people. Good. Robert. Robert. All right. Robert. Uh, Robert. Yeah. All right. You're on mute, Robert. There you are. I could never become a doctor. Because I'm, I'm too disorganized and can you don't pronounce this E. Disorganized. And Disor can't disorganized. No, no, no. Don't pronounce this E. Disorganized. Disorganized. Yeah. With D at the end. Let's see. I think this is the last part. Isn't it? Yep. Yep. We're finished. We are the champions. <laughs> friend. You have finished and now you can get the certificate if you have. Um, how are you doing with signing up for the next module? Could you please repeat the question? Yeah. I'll do it later. Later? When? Just after the class. Hi. Ah, yeah, yeah, after class you can take care of that. Not right now, don't worry. <laughs> No, I'm saying the registration for the next module. Are you working oh. on that? I already did. Oh, wow. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Roberto. Hey, Eunice, are you a teacher? Yes. I can see the bird behind you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you teach? Second grade. Okay, so science, language, math. Oh. All the subjects. Yes. Oh wow, okay. You even have a board. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. So um there I will send you a picture right now. Take a look. Let's open what's up. Josie, are we going to continue with you for the next classes? That's what I don't know. Or you don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, you can request it if you would like to and see what happens. Uh -huh. I think it will depend on the schedule or something. I hope we will. Let's see. You can request it just in case it's a possibility we can do that. Okay. But I'm not if you, sure. With, uh, which one can we call? Sorry? For, for, 
Um, okay, I think that tomorrow or one of these days we're going to get a survey uh -huh. asking you how you felt with the service, with the teacher. So maybe they're in the comments, you can say that. I already did that, Josie. A survey monkey is a, like an interview about, the, uh, I already did. Because for my company, they sent to me this survey monkey. Oh, okay. And you but I didn't know that I have to request to you for you. So sorry. <laughs> okay. I just feel the whole. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but you can do that. Yeah, you can do it on the survey, or, or I don't know, or maybe say it in the group. I would have to think of options, but there are not many. That's the problem. I can't think of any. Usually, people say something in the group or in the feedback. That's where they usually do it. You can try. All right. Did you see the image I sent? But I would really hope it is the case, Alexandra. I don't know. If it's not, maybe later. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just for us, for the company. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have to, to fill another yes, survey. Yes, so we usually send it the following week. Directly from week. Inglés Corporativo, I think. Mm -hmm. um, could be. I think they're going to send it next week, so you could say something there. It would be nice seeing you again. We went to Manolo to come to class. Uh, oh, Manolo <laughs> is away right now. He's on vacation. <laughs> no, seriously, if you notice, I haven't been working on my videos because I'm burned out. Totally burned out. Just the day I saw that, it was uh -huh. funny. <laughs> it looks it's serious here. Funny. You look serious yeah. here at the at the beginning. I think oh, this girl is really serious. <laughs> yeah, a combination of serious and and silly. So yeah, it's a combination. <laughs> but we use we use so Manolo. Uh huh. You realize? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the case. Manolo is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him, but yeah. <laughs> okay, I sent some of the questions. I'll be discussing with you so we can talk. Mm, so number one says, what is your favorite TV show? Where mm -hmm. is your favorite place you ever traveled? And so these are like personal okay. questions. Let's practice. I'll be with you and not participate this time. Okay. So I'll make two groups, accept the invitations, and here we go. Three, three, two. Hi. <laughs> you know, I did something. <laughs> I set the invitation again. Okay. <laughs> to... yeah. Okay. Let's start. Number one, what is your favorite TV show? Well, my case, my favorite TV show, it's Game of Thrones. I really love that series. Excuse me, Robert, Robert, I think I'm going to have to move you because the other group is very small. Hold on. There. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. It was really cool. And I really love that series. What about you guys? What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show by the moment is Dark. <gasps> I love yeah, it. I, I so really love it. And the mysterious. <laughs> are you ready for <laughs> our movies? <laughs> our movies. Our movies. Our movies. I, I love Grey's Anatomy. I miss uh, Oh, well. Um, friends, I love friends. Friends is good for Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> Roberto, what is your favorite TV show? 
I don't have favorite TV show. You don't see TV? <laughs> uh, a few. I love watching TV. How many hours yeah. do you spend watching TV? Yeah. Now? Uh, maybe after class I watch a movie. Or okay. almost uh, two hours a day on Sundays all the day. It's <laughs> all I do. I have power on the control. <laughs> I sit I see TV all day. Because how many hours, what do you mean? Uh, I don't know, maybe um six hours. Six hours. Because uh, That's a lot. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Why do you spend so much time watching TV? <laughs> For my daughter. <laughs> uh, uh, because of her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because of her. Because she went to see Frozen and sing all the songs, all the Frozen songs. Mm -hmm. So we spend all, uh, a lot of time seeing TV. Can hold it back anymore. <laughs> and I <get> some <laughs> talk. <laughs> I can't remember. Here I I haven't am. seen Frozen 2 yet. Oh, this picture is not for you. <laughs> for the other group. Okay. You haven't seen it yet? Watch it. It's really nice. Yes. It's a beautiful yes. movie. I love it. <laughs> okay. I download it. Oh, you don't, don't love it. Don't say anything to CIA or <laughs> FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I will download it and put it on the TV. It. Okay. Uh, it's here if you can include her, please. Uh, your and hobbies are uh, listening to music, editing videos. Editing and videos. Uh, when you describe hobbies, you have to go one by one with ING. So listening to music, editing videos, ING. So one more time, Paul. Yeah, listen to music and make 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 a Maybe. make videos or editing editing videos. Mm -hmm. um, also play soccer play but soccer? no 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 at, no at the moment no at the moment okay With the situation. Uh, all right okay all right. next one what do you look for a friend for a friend i, I think but here is for in friend no what do you look for in a friend uh, in a friend, okay. So you look for honesty in a friend. That's one of um, the answers. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I look for honesty and loyalty. And I recommend um, El Limon. Okay. El Limon. El Limon. Yes. El Limon. If you go with uh, someone from Costa Rica is it's not that expensive but anyway there is no uh, food in there you have to to carry on your own food because it's a nature reserve they don't have anything to buy in there or maybe you can try to to speak like a tico <laughs> Uh, it is kind of hard. They know you're not from there. Oh, they like... know it's they, it's a uh, natural. They know. Okay. You just have to be like that and try to be everything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they know right away when all this <laughs> pandemic issue passes. 
we can go. Okay. Okay, mm. what are your current hobbies? <laughs> These, yeah. days, hmm? These days, I think only only wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> wash and cry. <laughs> Doing the dishes. I remember I went see a picture. <laughs> That's my favorite hobby. <laughs> and you, Ionica? And Roberto? Watch TV and listen music. I don't know. I, I don't have uh, many time for for a hobby. Uh, uh, that would be sorry. <laughs> Watching TV and listening to music. Hobbies, you have to describe it. ING. What? Excuse me. No, I'm saying hobbies. You say them with ing. So watching TV, listening to music. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I understand. And you, Roberto? Maybe uh, making electronic circuits and playing. Wow. Wow. Playing, playing, <laughs> playing with my children. So no. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's married. <laughs> like the chain. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are you passionate about? Uh, this is meaning what exactly, Josie? What are you passionate about? What makes you feel happy? What is something you love, you are passionate about? Music, in my case. Because I really love music. I really enjoy to be in a concert. I really love to, to feel the music. Well, in my case, maybe is one of the most important things in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so do I. No, mm, so do I, I don't think you can say that. So is it for me, maybe you can say. Um, but are you good at singing? Mm, who, me? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> no, I just love and enjoy music, but I don't have a talent playing instruments or singing. Oh, I'm girl. just an enthusiastic girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. An enthusiastic. All right. Mm. Okay. And you, Daphne? I'm passionate to learn. I love learning something new. When, when the opportunity came, because I feel more realized and I feel good learning some something new. Okay, good. Okay, next one. Is there a book that has changed your life? Mm. Well, in my case, it will be. Let me think. Mm. The Young's books. Who? The Young's book. Uh, I don't know what what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is the gospel. It's a a gospel a book or gospel book. About what? Uh, huh? Part of the. Mm, no. Okay, next one. Why what are you, are you passionate <laughs> about? Um, what are you passionate about? For my daughter. <laughs> I think you might say that. <laughs> I was wa waiting for you to say that. Really? Yes, 
is a time mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's how, true. <laughs> how about you, Eunice and Roberto? Passionate about. Maybe my family and, and, and my work. <coughs> You're passionate of family and work. Who said that? Eunice, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually teachers are passionate for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go back and watch a video, okay? Let's go. Okay. 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 Okay, here's a video for you, eight traits of successful people. So traits are characteristic. I would like you to take notes on those eight traits and then we will discuss what they are and how they work. Have you read the book, Seven ha Habits of Successful People, I think? Have you read the book? No, I hear about that, but I didn't read. Los Siete Hábitos de las Personas Exitosas, something like that. No? Altamente efectivas. Ah, así. yeah, 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 that's the one, Altamente efectivas, yeah. Have you read it? No, totally. Okay. I have it, I have to read that. Let's say this is something similar. So let's take notes and then I will ask each one of you to describe a trait. Now my subject is success, so people sometimes call me a, a motivational speaker. But I want you to know right up front, I'm not a motivational speaker. I couldn't pass the height requirement. <laughs> and I couldn't motivate anybody. My employees actually call me a demotivational speaker. <laughs> What I try to be is an informational speaker. I went out and found out some information about success, and I'm just here to pass it on. And my story started over 10 years ago on a plane. I was on my way to the TED conference in California. And in the seat next to me was a teenage girl. And she came from a really poor family, but she wanted to get somewhere in life. And as I tapped away in my computer, she, she kept asking me questions. Then out of the blue, she asked, are you successful? I said, no, I'm not successful. Terry Fox, my hero. Now there's a big success. He lost a leg to cancer, then ran thousands of miles and raised millions for cancer research. Or Bill Gates, guy who owns his own plane, doesn't have to sit next to some kid asking him questions. <laughs> But then I told her about some of the stuff I'd done. I love communications, and I've won lots of awards in marketing. I love running, and I still sometimes win my age group. Old farts over 60. <laughs> my fastest marathon is two hours and 43 minutes to run the 26 miles or 42 kilometers. I've run over 50 marathons on all seven continents. This was a run my wife and I did up the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru. And to qualify for the seven continents, we had to run a marathon in Antarctica. But when we got there, it didn't look nice and calm like this. It looked like this. The waves were so high we couldn't get to shore. So we sailed 200 miles further south to where the seas were calm and ran the entire 26-mile marathon on the boat. 422 laps around the deck of that little boat. My wife and I have also climbed two of the world's seven summits, the highest mountains on each continent. We climbed Aconcagua, the highest mountain on the American continent, and Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. Well, to be honest, I puked my way to the top of Kilimanjaro. I got altitude sickness. I got no sympathy from my wife. She passed me and did a lap around the top while I was still struggling up there. In spite of that, we're still together and have been for over 35 years. I'd say that's a success these days. So I said to the girl, well, you know, I guess I have had some success. And then she said, okay, so are you a millionaire? Now, I didn't know what to say, because when I grew up, it was bad manners to talk about money. But I figured I'd better be honest, and I said, yeah, I'm a millionaire, but I don't know how it happened. I never went after the money, and it's not that important to me. 
She said, maybe not to you, but it is to me. I don't want to be poor all my life. I want to get somewhere, but it's never going to happen. I said, well, why not? She said, well, you know, I'm not very smart. I'm not doing great in school. I said, so what? I'm not smart. I barely passed high school. I had absolutely nothing going for me. I was never voted most popular or most likely to succeed. I started a whole new category, most likely to fail. But in the end, I did okay. So if I can do it, you can do it. And then she asked me the big question. Okay, so what really leads to success? I said, geez, sorry, I don't know. I guess somehow I did it. I don't know how I did it. So I get off the plane and go to the TED conference, and I'm standing in a room full of extraordinarily successful people in many fields, business, science, arts, health, technology, the environment. When it hit me, why don't I ask them what helped them succeed and find out what really leads to success for everyone? So I was all excited to get out there and start talking to these great people when the self-doubt set in. I mean, why would people want to talk to me? I'm not a famous journalist. I'm not even a journalist. So I was ready to stop the project before it even began. When who comes walking towards me but Ben Cohen, famous co-founder of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream. I figured it was now or never. I pushed through the self-doubt, jumped out in front of him and said, Ben, I'm working on this project. I don't even know what to ask you, but can you tell me what helped you succeed? He said, yeah, sure, come on, let's go for a coffee. And over coffee and ice cream, Ben told me a story. Now here we are over 10 years later, and I've interviewed over 500 successful people face to face and collected thousands of other success stories. I wanted to find the common factors for success in all fields. So I had to interview people in, in careers ranging from A to Z. These are just the careers I interviewed beginning with the letter A, and in most cases, more than one person. I interviewed six successful accountants, five corporate auditors, five astronauts who had been into space, four actors who had won the Academy Award for Best Actor, three of the world's top astrophysicists, six of the world's leading architects, and oh yeah, four Nobel Prize winners. Yeah, I know, it doesn't start with A, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> and I want to say a sincere thanks to all the great people that I've interviewed over the years. This really is their story. I'm just the messenger. The really big job was taking all the interviews and analyzing them word by word, line by line, and sorting them into all the factors that people said helped them succeed. And then you start to see the big factors that are common to most people's success. Altogether, I analyzed and sorted millions of factors that are common. Okay, I don't think we'll have enough time to, well, we're about, you wanna finish watching it? Yeah. Please. Yeah, let's finish. Yeah. It's only one. Common to most people's success. Altogether, I analyzed and sorted millions of words. Do you know how much work that is? That's all I do, day and night, sort and analyze. I'll tell you, if I ever get my hands on that kid on the plane, <laughs> actually, if I do, I'll thank her, because I've never had so much fun and met so many interesting people. And now I can answer her question. I discovered the eight traits successful people have in common, or the eight to be great. Love what you do. Work really hard. Focus on one thing, not everything. Keep pushing yourself. Come up with good ideas. Keep improving yourself and what you do. Serve others something of value because success isn't just about me, me, me. And persist because there's no overnight success. Why did I pick these? Because when I added up all the comments in my interviews, more people said those eight things helped them than anything else. The eight traits are really the heart of success, the foundation. And then on top, we build the specific skills that we need for our particular field or career. Technical skills, analytical skills, people skills, creative skills, lots of other skills we can add on top depending on our field. But no matter what field we're in, these eight traits will be at the heart of our success. <laughs> Two, work really hard. The eight traits are really the heart of success, the foundation. Okay. Mm, so what do all successful people have in common? They have passion. They have passion, right? They okay. work hard. hard. Mm -hmm. Love what they do. Okay. Push themselves. 
guys, why do you think that it is important to focus on one thing and not trying to do everything at once, but focus on one specific thing? Why is it important? Mm. Maybe if you are focused in one thing, you can be better in that specific thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roberto? Why do you think it's important to serve other people and not only think about yourself? Excuse me? Why do you think it's important to serve other people and not only think about you? I can hear. Okay, who wants to answer that question? Maybe when you help others, and you receive so many blessings, I guess. Okay. And what is your definition of success, personally? How do you define that? Well, in my case, I think success is when you are happy with your, for example, when, with your life, mm -hmm. with your job, with your personal life when you feel realized with this for me maybe, maybe when i, I mm -hmm. for me maybe when i get to what i want mm, so and different things mm -hmm. when you can get what, whatever you want yeah when you reach some goals uh -huh, when you accomplish your goals? I think success is when you are doing something and, and you get better and keep doing it and get better again and then the work never ends. So, but it's uh, my idea. You never get tired of what you're doing. Uh -huh, so you're in constant innovation, basically. Yes. That's interesting. I never heard anybody say that. But that makes sense to be constantly innovating. Okay. Very good. So um, what can you learn from the video? Anybody? Phone? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me, please. Maybe all me? of us. <laughs> okay, Paul, you can talk. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. About the about the success. Uh huh. What What do you learn from the video? Well, it's a interest, very still interesting uh, motivation uh, exposition. Motivational talk. Motivational talk, yes. Um, and I think the success is for everybody. Um, all we can um, um, take or uh, reach, reach uh, goals every day in our life it all depend of the focus uh, specific and for every goal that we uh, follow mm -hmm. that, that we follow exactly okay and according to him you don't need to be smart or lucky nor talented nor beautiful do you agree that you don't need that to be successful uh, I agree. <laughs> I agree too. Yeah. Why? So do I. Uh -huh. It's Why? because maybe you, maybe you're you're not the smartest people in the world. But if you work hard, if you're trying to learn every day, you will be success. Successful. Mm -hmm. Fatima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess when you 
um, think in other people and work hard and, and put your mind focus in in focus in some you. things. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. You can be a success person. A successful person. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Well, I hope you liked it. It's kind of long, but anyway, uh, it was good. The other ones I watched about success were not clear. So, um, do you have any questions? We should have taken mm -hmm. an end of the module picture, guys. Do you want to? Yeah, let's take no, one. No, not today. The prom yes. pictures. The prom yeah. pictures. Okay, I'm not going another to day, Alexandra. <laughs> Ay, but day. I have a bad face today. You can edit the picture. You know the okay the with Photoshop, please. <laughs> can it's do the Photoshop. first time we can see Fatima. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Finally, we have a face <laughs> with a <the> voice. <laughs> Let's bring our face to the voice. <laughs> you see, all this time we could have seen you. Finally, 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 finally. Nice to meet so you. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that is, it's real. It's so shine. It's not a robot. <laughs> it's not yeah. a troll. I can't She's believe it. Real. Yeah. No, by the way, you don't look nothing like the picture, right? Really? <laughs> no. Maybe for the glasses, for the big Yeah, glasses. we we couldn't see you at all. <laughs> the road. No, it, it causes a big effect and impact. I would recommend you, even if you're not with me, try to turn that camera on because it causes you to be confident with your classmates, to be comfortable, to develop a relationship, sort of. So, yeah, it's important. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you can put makeup on before class if you want. So, I don't know, so you feel confident. I always yeah. have a crazy hair talk. Oh yeah, well that's like, yeah, I, it came to me. In the first class I was with makeup and and now <laughs> it's like oh, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, seriously. Who cares? <laughs> don't worry about that. We look good. I okay, look uh, like a mother tired. No, the, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> right? Okay, let's take a, uh, a picture. So, hold on. Let me see. Oh my gosh. I should, you know, I'm, I'm working, so I should take care of my appearance, <laughs> not you. A picture <laughs> with Chanel or Manolo? <laughs> this this one, is a I picture with Chanel Manolo. or Manolo? Maybe no. Manolo. Uh, <laughs> this yes, is Manolo no. right now, okay? <laughs> yeah, if I ever see you again, maybe I will bring, I will invite Manolo, but he, he's stuck <sighs> because of the quarantine somewhere else. <laughs> he's traveling. <laughs> All right, let me see. One, you guys can take a screenshot as well. All right, not only me, because I okay. will take one. Okay. Okay. So, one, two. There it is. Something natural. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's better. Did you take one? Okay. Did anybody take one? I take it. All right. I will send in WhatsApp group. Take another one. Okay. You or me? No, you. <laughs> no one's waiting. <laughs> Give me oh. <laughs> okay. I have a free smile. No. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Got it? Okay. There it is. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I have to stay there for like a minute. All right. Uh, hey, I want to share a song with you. I sing. So if you want to listen to it, uh, in case we don't see any, we don't see each other anymore, I will share some stuff with you. Make sure you do the registration, you finish the platform. I think everybody finished, right? Mm -hmm. Almost. Yes. Everybody here almost? Ah, Fatima. Yeah. <laughs> Roberto, you have it? <laughs> Tomorrow is the last day. Yes. Mm -hmm. so you haven't okay. finished? This is the last class, but tomorrow is the last day to finish the platform. 
So let's get working on that quickly. All right. It was a real pleasure seeing you guys. Well, meeting you also, working with you. I hope to see you later. I wish you luck if I don't. And stay in touch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I send you. I send you. Frijoles naturales. Oh, yeah. Are you really going? To? <laughs> Don't get me. I, uh, yes. Que <laughs> son Give me your address uh, when when this. I'll this send it to you through Instagram. Carla fly. Uh, have like a have like a. Beat. I can fly. Carry you fly. personally. Oh, bring me beans. Okay, great. In your dreams, you can fly. <laughs> and tortillas made by Carla. Uh -huh. I send you frijoles naturas and I can fly to make you tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm served here. No, that's okay. Yes. Yeah, I'll message you anyway in case you're being okay. real well. I want frijoles. No, yes. Uh, when sure. when the mail post is open, I don't know if it's open now. It's working here. I don't think it's working internationally though. No. Uh, it's here not I think it's working here. It's not. No. Uh, I ask for some yeah. things, I buy things on eBay, that's the reason because they don't arrive. Well, if you decide to follow me, I'll follow you back and you can drop a message one day saying, hey, happy I already birthday. follow you on Instagram. I already follow you. Am I following you back, Alexandra? Yeah. I am? Ah, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I have some questions. If, if you study psychology, I have some questions for you. So, yeah, I want to Okay. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> But yeah, in yeah. Spanish. In Spanish, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, great. I'm better than Spanish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm interested in talking about that. And Carla, I'll send you the address. If you want to follow me, I'll follow you back and drop a message to say hi. I followed you already. Yeah. Happy teacher day. Next year, maybe. So. I will remember. Yeah, follow me, guys. I always remember the faces, for sure. So don't tell me hey do you know who i am i would say yes i know i know, yes, I know. <laughs> yes, faces. we are manolo yes. fans don't you remember <laughs> manolo fans do you remember me <laughs> too, I'm a manolo fan. <laughs> i'll send you a video whenever it's ready okay i have to go <laughs> it was a pleasure talk to you later okay it was a pleasure okay, guys thank you bye. Bye. Hope to see you thank bye. you bye. Bye. bye thank you good night <laughs>